Hi there, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be discussing about Amazon Q apps, which is in a part of Amazon Q business capability. So I'll be discussing about this Amazon Q. Amazon Q is business is a, a fully managed generative AI powered assistant that will help you to answer your questions, summaries, generate content and complete the task based upon your enterprise data. So basically it is like uh, the end users can receive some permissions, uh, responses, and we can have a different like uh, use cases for ITHR like that can help them to do their jobs easily. So we can like uh, streamline some tasks, we can have some uh, something like a sales generator or we can have some keywords generator, some kind of apps that we can have. We can just provide the description to the Amazon Q console for creating the app. So it is a part of it. So it integrates like uh, various services like uh, Kendra, then we have the S3. It also integrates with uh, SharePoint as well as the Salesforce. So these are the key things that we can explore. So there are many benefits of using this. It is accurate as well as it is having some comprehensive answers. So it is very simple to deploy and manage uh, different users and groups. We can manage it through the IAM. Then we can have a customized solution, application security, as well as broader connectivity. So basically there are a few subscription based things are there. The pricing and availability, you can check it yourself. I will just put the description and the link of the video. So you can uh, check the link for the pricing and all and how this is being uh, divided. Basically, it is a part of Amazon Q business style. So we will be having a separate. Similarly, we have the developer one also separate. So both are separate, separate subscriptions are there. So you can check yourself. So we can use it through the console. We can use it through the API. We can use it through the CLI. We can use it through the SDKs. So there's lots of options that we can utilize. So today, in today's video, I'll be just showing you through the console how we can uh, create our apps. But before that, there are some prerequisites are there. Like we need to set up the Amazon Q business in order to give the permissions to a certain user. So that is the initial setup that you have to prepare. So I will just go to the console and I will show you how to set up those things. So you can see over here, it is a generative AI that can help uh, boost your employee productivity by using this Amazon Q business. So we can have multiple apps being created, so shared between different uh, departments and also they can utilize it. So it will be like a centralized repository where you have, uh, like a library where you have, not a repository, a library in which you have multiple applications that are being created and being shared among the different employees. So as we click on the get started, so I have already done it. So you need to click on the get started. You can see how does it works. We can have a, a sample application being created. Then we can have the application name and all. We can configure the data sources and all. And then we can enhance as well as we can customize the web experience. That is the, uh, it's GUI and all. We can do that. So once you click try a quick application, it will tell you to create a user. So you can see I have created one user over here. It will automatically take you to those screens and all, no need to come to especially to this IAM to create. So it's automatically being created. It's not refreshed. Anyways, so we can Okay. Anyways, it will just click, uh, you can click here and you can see you can provide your application name and create a, and use a new service link role for this AWS service. And then you can click create. So once you create successfully, you can see you will be getting over here your application name. So this is the my app and this is the URL in which you can access it. So this is this will be the console for the Amazon Q business. This is a prerequisite. So once you click on this, so whatever user is there, you need to log in. So once you are logged in, then you can start creating your apps. So this app feature is now generally available. I think from 
uh, 10th of July. So you can utilize this. So it empowers the organizations to quickly turn idea into apps. So no need to wait for the developers to develop the code, write the code and develop certain apps. So it will help you to like boost productivity under one area, like under one whole, uh, like we can have a library where the other coworkers can also utilize it and we can create some different groups and all in order to share. Even we can share those apps with the customers and all. So we can create. So it is available in US East and US West regions only for the time being. So make it sure when you are uh, like searching for it, make it sure it is in say, this region, otherwise you won't be able to utilize it. So I will go back to my console over here. You can see it's already there. So once you click, so I was just creating a sample, you know, random sample in which I have created one resume and answer that is basically uh, a sample given over here. Little bit some interface is not that much good. So you can see, you can choose these are the samples over here. You can utilize it. So I use just one of the sample that is a resume enhancer. So you can upload your resume. Let's say you can choose, let me try, I will show you. So you can see I have uploaded my CV over here. So let's say DevOps app modernization. So this is the input field. You can just create some add card. You can have it a uh, user input, text output, and also a file upload. You might feel like while using it, you'll have a similar feeling that we have in the AWS Party Rock. So it's it's almost like kind of for me like it seems like a similar one like same we have a add card over here so similarly the same options were there in the party rock and all we can create it same you can run here and you, it will show you the analysis over here and it will also give you the tips for the enhancement of the CV so overall formatting, but the use of bold and italics but be more consistent. So this is the analysis that is being done on my CV. So similarly, uh, here it will tell you the enhancement that can be done in my CV. Now coming back to over here. Now, if you see the library over here, in the library, all apps. So this is my one of the app and it is being published over here. Now I will show you how we can have another app. So click on this app and you can just, let's say, uh, let's say we will create one app daily something daily task manager or reminder okay we'll click on the generate so there is 750 hours of usage is free so you can give it a try but make it sure it doesn't go beyond that Otherwise it will get added to your bill. So you can see a uh, task, let's say, let's say schedule a call, then let's say get the uh, development. That is something like that. Just you can choose the run task prioritization, it will be output, my task, output, and you can set a reminder. Let's say reminder for dentist appointment. So you can run this and you can see it will uh, give you the priority. So make a task accordingly. So it, it, something not right, I could not generate a response. So something went wrong. Let me check, reset. Let's say, let's use the default ones. Call mom, uh, reminder for appointment at 3 p.m., something like that. And then let's run this. I think something is wrong with this. Let me show you the sample one. 
like interview question generator. So this is the, like you can have a, a complete description. Actually, I'm just providing few words so it won't be able to create a full-fledged application. So better to put a complete description like uh, this is for job description. You have three relevant questions to be asked and what are the expectations and one can be specific to the job experience or something like that. So then you can click on the generate So you can also have a document summarized and all you can utilize it. So you can see uh, there is some file and all. Let, let me, again, I need to upload some job description over here. So I need to upload some job description. Let me bring some job description over here. And let me attach my CV also. Okay, so you can see over here, I have added one JD as well as my CV over here. So when I run over here, it will generate the interview questions based upon the uh, CV and based upon the job description. So this is how we can, can you provide me some examples and all based upon the job description, you can have it over here. So you can drag and drop the things. These are the three questions that will be generated automatically. You can increase the number of frequency of questions, type of questions, you can utilize it. So once you are finished with this, make it sure you publish it. So before publishing, you can see these are the labels under which uh, you want to show your uh, app. So basically it is like it will help you or the colleagues to in order to filter the apps accordingly. So let's say I'm saying that this is for the HR. Let's say publish over here. Okay, so now you can go to the library over here. You can see it is showing it too because I didn't publish the other one that was uh, some uh, like reminder app or something like that. So you can see under IT, we have one app. Under HR, we have another app. So once you click, you can open it and you can utilize it. So again, you can utilize this. So make it sure in the chat, you provide a proper, like say, uh, complete list. And you can see the recent charts that we have over here. It will pop it up and it will show you. You can just get the details about it. What was the chat was being going on. And you can have like, suppose you want to generate something, uh, create some tax for sales of, um, electronics items, let's say hashtag generator for sales of, of mobile phones, something like that. You can just provide it. You, you need to, okay, something we need to upload a file to we get upgraded. You can respond from approval. Okay, so you can just click on this chat over here. You can just go back here in the apps and create search tags for mobile promotions. Then you can click generate. So make it sure uh, as much you can provide the content over here, it will create a proper app. So you can see the promotion details and let's say sale event on the festive on new year, something like that. And then you can run. So it will show you the tags over here. I think something is wrong for mobiles brand. You can give it a try with the full detail. I think I'm not providing it the full detail. That's why it's not generating. Give it a try. Let me know in my comment section. So this is how you can utilize this Amazon Q apps creator, your generative AI powered app builder. You can give a try to the existing ones if you want. 
and you can see there is a social media. So depending upon whatever the types of searches you are making, it's uh, like keep on like, you know, giving you the like sales outreach email generator, social media content. So you can uh, shuffle it and you can see there are lots of sample that is already there. So you can try with one of them. And later on, you can just try to, if you want, you can just, uh, if you go to your app over here, you can enhance the experience, you can duplicate, you can delete whatever you want, you can do it. And you can add some cards over here if you want. So these are three generic ones, generic cards. So there is no picture and all like the party raw. So you can change the heading and all if you want. So this is how you can create your apps like in a uh, like organization in which you want to help your sales guys, IT guys, HR, or if you're having a uh, help desk. So you can have like a generic, uh, you can have some uh, answers, generic answers to the questions that are being frequently asked by the consumer customers while they face some trouble. So the IT help desk system can be created. But make it sure you put all the details and only create an app. So it will create all the details over here. So I hope you understood this one, Amazon Q, which is a part of Amazon Amazon Q apps, not Amazon Q, that is a separate, but it's still being integrated over here. So this one is Amazon Q apps, which is a part of Amazon Q business. So try to go through it. If you face any trouble, do let me know in the comment section. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.